narcotic case. A pre-dawn walk left me stunned by the beauty of the silence, broken only by the sounds of a small Mediterranean fishing village coming awake. This town on the Costa Brava, a couple hours north of Barcelona, has gotten busier over the years. But I made sure to get out into those quiet lanes before the tourists hit the waterfront. It was like a cobblestone dream. And like any dream, you think of something, and it appears. Like maybe a small local bakery filling their shelves for breakfast. And there it was, Baro Noguera Angel, an artisan bakery tucked away in an alley on Care Beler near Blanca Mora. This is one of those gems you won't find on a top five blog post, unless it's mine. Off the tourist radar and saved for locals in the know, the Fleca Baro has been here forever. I was just wandering around on the streets here uh, on a Sunday morning and the Panderia Baro was open and the smell just pulled me in. This is a fourth generation bakery here in Caraguez. There's a family that has owned this business for now four generations and they supply some of the other cities around here. So looks can be deceiving. It's very small, but it's a very productive bakery. And I can tell this croissant is going to be muy rico. This is Adrian a fourth-generation baker whose great-grandfather began making bread like this nearly a hundred years ago. He let me hang out in the back a little bit and get a glimpse of the process that's been handed down through the years. It's done the way it always has been, with bags of flour on the floor and quick slices by hand that allow the bread to properly expand. And it all produces some of the best bread you'll ever taste. These days, it's just he and his wife baking loaves and baguettes, sugar-crusted beignets, and perfect flaky croissants. That croissant this morning was so good, I had to come back for a beignet. And that Adrian is a master baker. This is very, very good. Mm. Oh. A little bit of bread heaven right there. <laughs> <laughs> 